there is very hot. So uh, for the worldwide, for the uh, university, research center, or the company, put a lot of effort or resources to res do the research of AI. So for open user, uh, the strip is very clear. We set up uh, four uh, open source stack, AI stack. So that will be, can be adopted by any researchers. So it will be easy for uh, research people to, uh, to choose something or to do some verification by, very, by zero cost, right? And we lower the research cost. And then, uh, because uh, we open user is a, a innovation uh, community, so we welcome, uh, with based on the open user intelligence bomb or other uh, uh, infrastructure, to do very aggressive uh, innovation of AI. So, if you look at the uh, open user intelligence boom, AI stack, you will see open user bring up uh, expert kit, how you deploy. Uh, since hacks, we have bring up a, a lot of uh, AI innovations. So, if any guy, any people, any research uh, institution, or any company, if you have any idea, we're welcome. You can make an open user to be a testing farm, or even to do uh, some innovation plan uh, to bring up the project. We're welcome very much. So that is. Uh, uh, we want to uh, get more and more resources to get involved in the AI uh, development. And also, we also want to collaborate with different uh, AI uh, uh, community. For example, for the Open User Intelligence Boom, they also integrate a lot of uh, AI stack or software from other communities. So we want to collaborate with other uh, AI uh, software community to to build the AI year together. Okay, so for AI, I think uh, just like everything of the IT industry, uh, some company will adopt the closed source module, and some company like to use the open source module. I think closed source and open source are both the way to develop the AI system. Uh, but I think for the open source, uh, module, it will be uh, more easier to adopt by the developer, by adopt by uh, the customers, and then it's also uh, easier for the developer to create more uh, innovation. So uh, personally, I think open source is a very good way to develop the AI system, and uh, we can see uh, the worldwide. Open source has been a trend for the AI industry, and uh, most of the AI uh, area or uh, uh, area or the industry uh, companies, they, when they develop something uh, for AI, naturally it's open source. So I think that will be uh, great for all of the AI industry in the future. Okay, I don't think that the enterprise adoption conflict with uh, uh, open source uh, innovation uh, because no matter what we do in the community, it should be adopted by the productive scenarios. So that means the enterprise need to use it. If nobody uses it, it's useless, right? So I think uh, the good way is uh, uh, for more and more innovation, we can collaborate to do a collaboration with uh, in the community. And then, when those kind of things uh, mature, to be mature in the community, and uh, the enterprise will adopt the, uh, the solution, adopt the software, and do the productive deployment. So, and then, give some feedback to the uh, community to do the next uh, uh, round of the innovation or development. So that will be a very good uh, cycle so of innovation. So that is, uh, I think, uh, we should do.